Welcome back to True Turnies. Uh, my name is Dennis, for those of you who don't know or don't care to know or forgotten, either way, I'm still Dennis. Uh, thanks for watching if you're checking us out for the first time. What I'm attempting to do is use one of the same Smart 3018 Pro that generic one off Amazon but all the same machine to actually cut some custom pen blanks that I designed and wanted to use. Um, decided to start making the videos on it as I go along because every video I've seen on this little desktop CNC is just done to kind of do the review on it and they do the test carbon. There's not really anybody showing it actually being used. And throughout the forums and some of the groups so there are the machines very capable so I figured I'll take everybody along for a ride if you want to watch as I go and actually use it I bought it myself it was not a sponsored thing because I've got like two subscribers so yeah no way it's getting sponsored but um, I figured I'd take everybody along for a ride what started this whole process for me is I'll see if I can get it in frame here as being a pen turner, I always am trying to come up with new ideas and new things that nobody else is doing yet. And one of those was, I came up with this little thing. The windowed pen blank. And this one was done by hand. I drilled it out and, and I cast it. As you can see, the windows on it aren't that great because drilling it is not the best thing there is for it by hand. The coordinates on it are a little bit iffy. But that's what the first prototype was. Kind of my proof of concept. And from that, I thought, well, heck, maybe a drill press would work. And the drill press doesn't really work as well because it's not meant for lateral movement and clearing up. You know, once you drill the hole straight through, nobody really get it cleared up in there. You get the little curves on it. So I picked up this little guy. And I've been messing with it now for, like I said, about two weeks, three weeks, trying to get it dialed in. And I'm only using easel at the time. So kind of limited and it's got some quirks to it but I think I've kind of gotten those dialed in I have managed to actually make one full part on this as you can see here this one I did make it's not perfect dimensions are a little bit longer on the windows than I wanted but it did prove that the machine will do it I had a couple that worked great I had one yesterday I was playing with and it made it all the way through one side two sides, the third side, and then on the fourth one, it decided to go back automatically to its recommended settings and just tore in from the beginning and plunge cut, cut it at like one and a half millimeters, which this just won't cut through that at that. There's not enough there for it. So I've updated the fixture, my jig for it, and I've got it locked in a little bit tighter. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and see if this will get it carved and see how well this does now so okay one moment let me get this set up and we will get this going Okay, now that my home position is set, go ahead and raise the bit, the spindle on, the spindle is on, and let's see now how it does.
Okay. Well, that one actually looks like it it carved it perfectly for me. I'm going to go ahead now and pull it out of the jig and we'll see what it actually looks like. If it looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and set up and I'm going to hopefully carve the other four sides and I'll come back on that and show the finished product. But before doing that, I'll go ahead and show the jig that I've got. One of the original ones I did, I guess just for reference, I can go ahead and show now. This was my original one. Kind of went in like that. And this is where the blank would sit. And I used some CNC tape. And it, as much as it worked, I found that it was getting hard to pull it out with no way of getting in. So version 2 came up with a little bit wider. So I did a little, I needed to a putty knife inside there. And it allowed for a wedge. What I was finding in that though was, like anybody would probably would have known that CNC tape, start pulling off little pieces of the wood. And I'm like, well, that ain't going to work long term. So, version 3. What version 3 consists of is a piece of half-inch HDPE cutting board material, basically. I use it for making custom molds for my casting. But I cut that just down to about a 6 by 9 piece. And the wedge, I've got a screw in it just to make it a little bit easier if I need to to get the wedge out and then the blank still sits in a little bit of double-sided tape as it starts to vibrate a little bit loose at the end but that's not that big of a problem yet still might be so this still might go through another revision I'm not sure and of course now I can't get the tape off of it Alright, well there's my first cut, and it doesn't look too bad actually. I think that'll do. Um, like I said, in the tube, once it's label cast, we'll sit right inside of it. And that's about right. That looks really nice. That's fairly centered. I'm a little bit proud on one side. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let me go ahead and get these, see if the rest of them will cut, and then we'll take it from there. All right, be right back. 